I think the Lord's voice was crafted, I think, somewhere in Russia, if I recall it well, in history. Okay. And we had the same similarities. Where, uh, where almost more than 90% of the population that went to Panyindo were all boys. And they had one thing in common, running away from the danger. As uh, the war began in 1983, uh, uh, and that war reaches uh, almost the community in, in all South Sudan, and in 1987, I became one of the lost boys that was uh, displaced by the, by, by, by the war. When it reached, uh, we were about uh, a thousand lost boys that left from the area. We had a track until we reached uh, Ethiopia in 1987. It, it, it was actually uh, one of the first painful experience that I had uh, because uh, as a young boy, could be between 9 and 12 years old, because not knowing uh, our, my exact age, we had a lot of problems on the way. And one of the problems was starvation. As you can imagine, water uh, was 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 a big, you know, and wild animals on the way. We left again in '92 uh, until we reach a place called Nairus, which is very near to Kapoita. We stay for a few months, then UNHCR took us to Kakuma, and that where I was uh, uh, registered as a refugee. Uh, in, uh, in Kakuma in 1992. There was uh, a refugee settlement that was meant only for lost boys and that is started in 1998 and I had my toughest decision that I had to make because uh, at that time it was about 10 years or 11 years not knowing where where my relatives are and and I was thinking do I have to take a decision to go to America where I don't know uh, how our people maybe are they all dead or what had happened. So I, I decided uh, to go to America and in 2001 uh, on April 10th, uh, April 8th, I left uh, Kakuma. Then I reached in, uh, in, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, April 10th, uh, 2001, and that decision was really uh, a best decision that I have made because I was, uh, I've, been, I've been writing a lot of uh, RCM, the Red Cross messages, to my relatives and there's no reply. From, I think I started in 94 until 2001, I couldn't get any reply at all, and I was thinking maybe there's nobody that survived. And uh, therefore, I decided, okay, I have to go to America. The life is different, foods is different. And I remember when, when I was with uh, my American friends, you know, uh, they have different foods. And, uh, and also, uh, it was tough even for, for us to, uh, to, 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 to get enrolled into universities and colleges. When I when I hand a dollar, I have to find out my parents. And I happened to talk with my brother for the first time uh, in 2004. I was relieved. I was totally relieved. And I could know who is dead, I could know who is alive, I could know, you know, and, and, and I was relieved then. So after independence uh, of South Sudan in, uh, in, uh, in 2011, uh, I decided, I thought, you know, we have a country that we can all build together. And uh, then I came here. Then when the war, um, the crisis uh, 
It started in, uh, in December 15, uh, 2013. I had to be evacuated. And uh, I remember they were telling me to go to Nairobi. I said, no, I'm not going to Nairobi. I will, I will, I will go to Kenya. I think I was unemployed for about seven months, eight months. And then I finally get a job with uh, ICRC in June of last year. We are doing a medical evacuation today, uh, leaving Ganyal uh, to Nyal, which is north of here, about 25 minutes or 30 minutes flight. So unfortunately, uh, some cattle raiders came and attacked a village and took cattle, about 110 cattle, head of cattle according to the, the local source. Uh, they have killed two people and wounded four. Now we are going to evacuate uh, a woman and a three-year-old girl uh, from Nyal. Uh, because there is no good uh, medical facility in Nyal, so we are evacuating them to Ganyal for a better treatment, operations, uh, and then we'll, all, we'll also bring a caretaker together with that child. It's not me alone that decided to come back home. We had a lot of us that came back home that are even working uh, either with the government or with the, with the NGOs or that are doing their private uh, work as well. Mm, unfortunately, we were all hoping to come home and build a home together. Uh, but some of us, most of us that did came, went back to America. And I, I'm one of the few that decided to stay because I was thinking it's not the right time for me to leave because when your people are in danger, why would you have to go back? I'm always hopeful and, 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 and optimistic that thing will be better uh, because this is the country that we all loved. This is our land. And we lost boys that have seen it all. And we want to have a better future. We have our country have a better future. And this is the hope that we are always praying for so that this country can be better for all of us.